hello hello beautiful people and welcome back to my youtube channel as always this is your girl tabs so today i am going to take you through uh, a look um and a look that i'm having i'm having in mind uh it's 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 more of a bridal look uh if at all i was in a bridal team uh what i would want on my face and with that all said karibu sana if you're new here and if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly do this is where we do all things makeup all things you know beautiful with positivity get this is where we get glammed up this is where we talk all things beautiful you know so i am going to take you through the look so i had moisturized my face and actually done a sunscreen so i did this sunscreen this is the Dr. Tuna sunscreen. Actually, I've had this since last year. Um, it's such a good sunscreen. I think I don't have regrets with this sunscreen. And actually, it's very affordable. Um, I think I bought mine at around 1500 You can still get it to the same price. I think so. Um, and had done my primer. Because today, I don't want to look all, you know, I just want to look... I don't want so much literally because i'm going nowhere i'm home but but also i want us to deliver i want us to have a bridal look you know so i i'm going to literally tap more this is the reverend photo ready perfecting primer so i'm here to try more primers because i think <laughs> I so much love this primer. Yani, I don't know. Um, I'm yet to be told this is another good primer. I've, I've, I've been told of Becca. And um, I ever used a client of mine. Uh, there's, uh, there's a client of mine who uses Becca. So when I went to her place, um, I told her I'm going to uh, to do a different uh, primer today. I'm going to use your primer because I want to see, you know, if 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 I'm going to to, to move from Reverend to to Becca because I've seen most makeup artists use it. I've uh, most the high end makeup artists have used. I've, I've seen uh, Stephanie Cherono use it. I've seen think Who else? Is it Glammed by Queen? Oh, who else? Who else? Oh, Rosina. Rosina still does um, Becca. And Becca is not actually, uh, it's not that affordable. Actually, it's on the higher side. It's on the, you know. But you know what? We are going to. So, as I was telling you guys, I tried it on my client. And the whole idea was, I see whether I can get the difference between, you know, my photo ready uh, primer, perfecting primer. Because this is a primer that I've used for the longest. I think um, since I started using makeup, that was when, like, really good makeup. You know, we all start, we all start with these foundations from, you know, from Uko. Um, and I think, I think I was a bit lucky uh, because as I was starting uh, to do my makeup, um, I happened to have a family member and a good friend who are working with makeup brands but then even i was not sure whether i'm going to do makeup but i, knew I so much loved makeup and um i remember um the foundation i used to use before uh not i, I just used to use the normal you remember i don't know if you guys remember the the is it the dark and lovely number one or number two powder that you'd put and you look white or, or gray because i'm dark so I would look great. So that's the powder uh, I would use. So later, um, later uh, my sister actually, later uh, my not my sister-in-law, but now this family friend, uh, this family friend was like was working for, for what was it for Maybelline? Yeah. So she brought me the the before, they used to have the matte mousse um, foundation, and that was a big deal. You having that was a big deal. And then I met my sister in law, had never met her. She 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 was she, she was actually she was actually doing makeup, uh, but still was working with with you know with Emirates. So she was a cabin crook. So she she would use makeup on an everyday. So she was like, I have this good powder that I can introduce you to. So she introduced me to a, 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 um, a face powder. 
and it was high end because I remember I remember I don't remember the name uh, but Michelle Michelle uh, the sister to Diana usually markets them on Instagram oh my god where am I uh, oh my god the name is really disappearing but probably by the end of the video I'll be remembering so she 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 gave me that powder and that powder was was a million bucks on my face it would make my face so beautiful and as we were traveling with my my best friend from Nyahururu Shiro hey Shiro um we went to shop for makeup in Akuru <laughs> and um as you we were going, I remember, I don't, I don't remember, was it Clinton's? I don't remember the shop, but they were selling makeup. So we were like, uh, let's go, um, uh, we, we were actually had, go, we had gone to treat ourselves actually. We, uh, because then I was living in, in Yahururu. So we went to, uh, to Nakuru to do our nails <laughs> and have a good lunch there. So we decided to, why not buy lipstick, uh, good lipstick and, uh, and foundation. And that's when I actually bought the black opal uh stick foundation and uh, a lipstick a matte i actually never used to call it a matte lipstick thank god to reverend i know it's matte i used to call it matte and i actually don't mind when people actually come to the stand and they say matte lipsticks because i was there it's a matte lipstick uh so and oh my god the feeling of having makeup so then i'm talking about the story of around 20 was it 20 two, 209 yeah i'm talking no not 209 actually 2011 i'm talking of 2011 so but i loved makeup i didn't know i would one day come and do makeup um because then i was doing a managerial uh managerial i was actually more in the corporate because i was a manager with with a certain investment and um I never thought I would I would at any chance at any time you know be a beauty consultant and be I knew I, I'm so much interested in the beauty industry but I never thought I would I would become a beauty consultant I never thought so so when 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 I was doing all this I remember this this someone who came to me and told me you know Tadi you would you really you would really make a good makeup artist you know when someone is doing hair you do makeup like you know i've done like my cousin in my during my cousin's wedding i remember i was having my own product i actually did her makeup for free and a few ladies there and literally nikuchora ile line and uh, powder and actually i remember she was light she was very light and had my 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 black opal beautiful bronze so it couldn't match her so i just applied the number one dark and lovely um uh powder and it worked and a lipstick and it worked actually i think she actually even tells me you remember you did my makeup my, wed my, my wedding you did my makeup so i think it was there are those things that you know god usually tells you slowly by story one day you're going to become a makeup artist and probably you don't you know take it seriously and that's how my journey started so where was where was we Let's brush these eyebrows because you know we're going to talk too much and forget we are here to do makeup. So that is my journey of how I loved uh, makeup since you know before I became a makeup artist. So I usually actually encourage uh, students out there that if at all you have the passion, if at all you have the passion, you can be a makeup artist. Now me, I'm never afraid. Even even one of the, the, the ladies that once I get these more very early morning gigs, I usually go with her. She knows. Um, um, I'll introduce you to my clientele. I'll introduce you to my clientele. But that doesn't mean that if I'm going to apply this gloss, it has a bit of color. Because I'm feeling my lips are very dry. Oh my god, they're very dry. Actually, you can see the appealing. I don't know if you guys can see. Because I just want a bit of color. Not much. Because the later I'm going to do to remove all this. But I want some moisture. Because the, the jelly that I used on my lips, it's not holding me so well. And I don't want to do a gloss at this moment. I like, like a clear gloss. So let's do our eyebrows as we do 
split uh we chat so with my eyebrows uh since i got uh this car accident here my i usually have an issue with my eyebrows so most of the times i usually have do my eyebrows off camera and since then i i i, I you see this is the davis number three and i wish i can get the reverend this the reverend one that ha they usually have a brush that is called that is number 220 in dark brown it's usually amazing i'm so sure i did i wouldn't have to use this but now this is on the cheaper side so so we can as well do this so um like i was telling you guys uh my eyebrows since uh the car accident i'm never able to do um with the normal davies so i usually outline with this and then i'll later go uh then go back with uh the normal the smaller uh davies eyebrow pencil just to actually fill in because this is this is dark not just dark it's dark so and the reason i usually want it dark is because this area is dark so i want both of these areas to get dark so i am going to to, to, to make uh to, to 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 actually not talk not talk i'm going to actually shut up and do my eyebrows because happen kazi i never used to say eyebrows in ngumu my doing my eyebrows but since all this happened uh it's kind of because this car is a bit big and I have to try and cover it so let's do this So for my concealer i am going to use i'm going to mix the uh the early uh the pro concealer the la la oh my god la girl pro concealer in the shade toffee and i am going to also because i want these edges to, uh, to look a bit brighter i am going to use phone and on the upper part of my eyebrows i am going to use my foundation I have decided i am going to use the uh, the upper side i'm going to actually mix with um with the, uh with chestnut and what i'm doing uh <laughs> i had to cut mine uh because there's so much product that is that is on this side and i can't or each and every time i press on the other side i never get uh all uh all product from the you know from this place so i am going to actually do that and save it for next time use because let me tell you these things usually hide a lot of products here and each and every time you try and press them you still can't access those uh that product so each and every time you're drawing your concealer you have to remember that you know these the tube ones you're drawing most of your most of your product so for my eyebrows i am going to actually i bought a new set of brushes because my friend I've, I've, you know, I've lost brushes during these morning sessions and, um, you know, actually I, had, I lost all these kind of brushes, but thank, thank you, Jumia, you know, Jumia usually have these nice offers, so I got at, at least a set of the same. So I am using the phone on the areas of, uh, on this these corner areas of my eyebrows
actually this eyebrows is this eyebrow on on my right side is the one that determines the shape of the other one you know the fluffy brush and just blend that concealer We're going to go uh we're going to do our eyeshadow like we say this is this is more of a bridal look uh so we are going to make sure that uh we, we are popping on the eyes because the eyes make a statement each and every time you're doing your makeup if you want to stand out uh mostly the eyes have to stand out because the beauty lies where So for the eyeshadow, I am going to use the James Charles uh, movie palette and love. I don't have much of a space, so so I am going to try and uh, try and show 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 you the, the 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 kind of a look I want to do today. Um, most most definitely. If if you are in the bridal team, there's that thing that the bride gives. Most most brides will say kindly uh, go on the nude look uh, because they don't want also to be having, you know, reds, orange on their face, and they are in the bridal team. So um, I'm going to do. I'm definitely going to use these browns and actually smoke uh, smoke it a little bit and then when it comes to the shimmer because i was thinking i do this you know it's more of a mauve or mauve pink color so i'm going i'm thinking i go on that direction and if at all i feel it's not as you know as good enough i'll, I'll use a shimmer so let's do this the base and for this case we're using the p louise uh eye primer in the shade rumor one so uh, with this one i'm not going to use a lot just a little bit because it's going to go away you know all the way like i said i got brushes so easy later martini nashtuka shtuka we finish with the brushes we try and wipe it up because at the end of the day i'm the one who's going to to use it so the the, the brush that i used to i used uh, on on my eyebrows is what i'm going to set uh the eyes uh, with so i'm using that concealer not much of it as you can see end up on the lid So you 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 can start, you have to start from this uh, this space as you go up upward uh, because this is where most of the product will be and the transition uh, will be on this area. Downward and then you go upward because on the transition area you don't need so much. Yes, you want. Um, you want a place where the, the, the eyeshadow is going to, you know, to hold to. But still, you don't need uh, too much like you need uh, on this area. So I'm going to take a, a small brush, uh, probably a tipped brush and now try and build the browns you know from this area you can go with the product that is left and actually set this area so we're going to start off with the with the dark brown and as you can see it's a bit brown yes it's, it's a brown and build on this area
so at this point i'm 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 not so sure whether i should still the movie still do the movie the move uh pink that i should do or just do a bit of shimmer but anyway uh if i was a bright i was in the bridal team i would definitely do because i'm a lover of shimmer i would definitely do a shimmer so let's do a shimmer to do the nyx uh, glitter primer um I've actually put a lot so I have to I don't want to waste this product so I'm going to add more here the primer wow the, uh, the primer is getting tacky now you you go in now with your with your glitter So I'm going to take uh, more of a flat brush, ah, more of like uh, a puffy brush, but be small because it's a bit tacky. Then I'm going to start off with this. Uh, And then on the inner corner, I'm going to brighten the area and use more of a silverish uh, uh, glitter just to brighten the inner corner. Then go back. Hmm. Love it already. It's going to start off with that. With the silver one just to brighten the inner corner. Then go back with that uh, other shimmer. It has it's in between a silver and a gold. Blend them together. So what you do, um, you go back with uh, the first uh, brush, probably without product, and try to blend these two together. So, and do the same on the other eye. But make sure now I define the this part of the crease.
we did the transition and use that to blend So for the for the liner, I am going to use the Zaron um, uh, uh, gel liner in the shade Jazz. So we're going to do a mascara uh, before we do our lashes. So for the lashes, um, you can choose to either go on the natural side or a bit of drama. And for me, um, because of this video, I'm not going to do natural. So the idea, the, the whole idea uh, of these lashes, uh, as you can see, they are not as, yes, they are long, but they are not as dramatic. So even if I go subtle on my skin, I still will good, you know. Actually, even the bride herself can do such kind of a color and actually do these lashes. My foundation. So if for the bridal, uh, when you're doing um, your foundation, you have to make sure like, um, your skin your skin is super ready uh for for this makeup because remember we want this makeup to last the whole day and i don't think my beauty blender is as damp anyway let's see whether it's as damp um to start with i'm, I'm going to use my color stay foundation uh in the shade hikuri uh i usually have a bit of a red uh, undertone so i'm going to go with my beauty blender So under the eyes, you don't put as much product uh, because, guys, um, remember, we don't want to have a creasy under eye. We are in the bridal team. Going to put that. And then snatch on that area. So I usually leave the, this part uh, because there's some some concealer that was left. Uh, there is in my shade because you see this phone can be a bit light. Not it can be, uh, it is light uh, when it comes to my complexion. But for the under eye, it's usually perfect because of its undertone. So when you smile, this is where you should put your, your blush. Actually, you have to put a little bit of that there. 
we have introduced this cream contour oh my god not cream contour but uh, rather uh, um the uh, the cream blush Ooh. i'm excited asana I usually love going uh, with the, uh, with my hand, uh, with my finger, and just uh, blend the blush first. Uh, anyway, but you can also use a powder brush, uh, like a contour small brush like this. Um, so I'm going to use whatever that is on my, on the top of, the, uh, on the, on the, on top of that cover. <laughs> There's one thing you have to remember. There's an original, uh, Sasha Buttercup and there's a fake. The thick one, I think even at the base, we can get it at 500 or something. But the original one, I think it's around 3200. Remember the brushes I showed you? So, I'm going to just define this area. Contour it as I define it. So the excess product that was left on your beauty blender is what you're using to just make sure that you don't feel you know you don't feel harsh, uh, ashy like these lines are not as harsh so i'm going to try and get like a small uh, brush that is a bit good for my nose wig. so you see we, we had done the cream contour so it's uh, not the cream contour sorry but the cream blush so once we add just a little bit of blush on top so i'm going to to, to use this blush uh, it's actually an eyeshadow palette but because i don't use it i usually mix these uh like three colors these three shades to just get an in between um proper 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 blush color and then i put excess uh on my hand go back and try to build that not much not uh not much i had a, a client that i was seeing on one on one classes and I actually loved the uh, the way she reacted. You know, she's like, oh my God, I'm able to do my lashes even if I'm taking an hour. I'm able to do my lashes. You're like, wow, at least I've done something. At least I was not just paid. You know, there are things that you just feel. I was not just paid. So I'm taking, I'm going to take the, the butt of my beauty blender. Take this more of a translucent shade. And what I'm doing is to just define this area. I want the contour to, to be felt. You see? Go back on this and see. So, so I'm really, I, I, I love sharing 
information and actually even when I'm doing my this I actually do makeup for a boss of mine and actually she, she like I usually teach her something one or two when you're doing our you know our sessions and go back with my first beauty blender and just make sure that that is not as harsh I don't want as much product I also want that uh, the blush and that contour to to be followed and actually uh, the reason when I'm saying this is um, there's someone there's someone uh, who sent who told me uh, on my whatsapp oh I am actually loving your videos. Um, um, I'm able to to learn one to one or two things. So yeah, I feel at least I'm doing something. Uh, I've always wanted to do to have my, my whatever I do to have an impact. Having done that, I'm going now to set my face. <clears throat> and the setting spray that I've used is the Revlon. It's made, it's either you do color or nude. So for me, I'll do nude. My Reverend uh, uh, Ultra HD Vinyl Polish and uh, with this. Braids meets Kazia on Kusmal. You have to look, uh, to, like, to look good. My highlighter, I'm going to use the C Sleek Highlighter. It comes in like uh, four shades. I've had it, I have had this for a while now. It really serves, it has really served me. So as you can see, that's what I would I would really uh, do, and I love it. I don't know how you think about this, uh, guys, but this is a look I would do. Uh, even for the bride can do. Uh, but the title of this uh, video was a bridal makeup look. So and uh, for for me, if I was in your bridal uh, in your bridal team, this is what I would lock because I want to like. Look on that side and I'm glowing. Look on this other side and I'm glowing and smile and my teeth look all right. So guys, we are done and I'm telling you this look is giving. I don't know if you can see that. But you 
it's giving they can look so beautiful oh my god they look so beautiful oh my god i think i should get married again should i anyway guys thank you so much for sticking with me until this stage uh if i tell you at this point me it means that you you've watched the whole almost the whole video thank you so much for sticking with us thank you for always uh being here and i also uh put such videos even the reason the one reason that i had to open a youtube channel was because so that my clients can actually see when i tell them give me an inspiration of what you want to do on your big day give me an inspiration of what you want you know the kind of look that you want they don't bring me just the you know the pinterest and one thing guys about pinterest is that you will find edited video edited photo and when they edit those photos most of them are so edited like you know and this is so raw so with this i'm able to like you know relate and tell and tell you know this is something i can do uh what do you like most where like on what area do you want us to emphasize is it the eyes is it the skin is it you know is it your lip do you want your lip a bit brighter no no with that now we have a conversation but now when i'm brought up pinterest i'm not able even to relate on colors especially this this there's a color in pinterest this a purple uh this i remember there's a there's a client who brought me a, 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 a look that she wanted we do on pinterest it was a purple but it was this light purple that has a bit like it has a glow before you get a purple that has a glow you really it is either dark or too 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 light but an in between and then also that suits an african skin oh my like it's such a hassle no matter how much maybe you're trying to blend it with your eyeshadow you're trying to blend it you know with it's still and you know not every client that love like their lips to be touched with the eyeshadow they just want that lipstick we rub the lipstick like four times until i told her you know what can you just do a different lipstick because no, i can't I, we can't get like an exact and actually i remember the model was more on the pointy side and for her she was she was on the caramel car so like a caramel shade with the caramel i mean she's not too light she's not too dark she's actually up like i think two shades uh later than me and oh my god each and and then her she, her lips were also dark so by the time you're trying to blend and get a perfect purple and a perfect the purple that she's having on the photo that she had it took time but now when you come to you like you come to my videos and you're able to see this kind of a lipstick you'll come and tell me that's the one that lipstick Tabs I want that eyeshadow look. Tabs I want like those like eyelashes. I want that highlight. I want that contour. You know, with that I can relate. And one of the most, uh, one thing that I've said I'll be very intentional with is making videos that are more on the bridal side, because you know the client will just go and watch. Because I remember there's a client I gave the other day, and she told me she want there's a subtle look that I did. She told me I just want that subtle look, like from. Whatever you did from beginning, and weirdly, she was almost my complexion. From whatever you did from beginning to the end. Whatever I should be used from the beginning to the end. That is what I want. And I was like, wow, this is so easy. This is fine. And I was like, wow. Now I'm finding more reasons to be making these videos because at least they are paying off. So thank you guys. Um, Kindly subscribe to my content kindly stick here this is where i'll be bringing you more content on beauty and uh thank you thank you so much god bless you have an amazing time until next video